Hello and welcome, I'm Bryn Lucas. If you're selling your home, it pays to maximize your home's value, get the right buyer in place quickly and nail the sale as speedily as possible. How? Well, today I'm gonna to be sharing property expert Phil Spencer's top tips, and he should know. He's bought and sold hundreds of properties in his career. Based on this vast experience, Phil has produced a fantastic home seller's toolkit packed with tips and information which you can download for free from moveiq.co.uk. Just sign up or log in. So here goes with his tried and tested highlights. One, get the timing right. On average, it can take around six months to sell a house, and this depends on whether the market is hot or cold for your type of property. Take the temperature by talking to estate agents and watch what's selling and what's on the property websites. Make sure the time is right for you personally too. If your income and job are stable, that's a huge tick when applying for a mortgage. Talking of which, the next step is to figure out your finances. A common trap is underestimating how much a house move is likely to cost. Think about legal fees of between 800 and 2,000 pounds, removals between 500 and 1,000, estate agent fees of between one and 3% of the sale price. And if you're also buying, there'll be mortgage fees and stamp duty to pay. Top tip number three is to maximize your property's value. Even before you speak to estate agents, get a rough idea by looking at the sale price of similar properties in your area. Good presentation always helps. Making sure DIY jobs are complete, there's fresh paint on the walls, even replacing the carpets if they're making your home look shabby. Also consider applying for planning permission if your home lends itself to improvement or extensions. Even if you don't plan to carry out the work, having permission approved can increase your property's value. Do choose your estate agent carefully. Pick an agent with a track record of selling your type of property in your area. Also, look at how they market their other properties. Is it up to standard? Online estate agents may be cheaper, but perhaps don't always have the local knowledge of a high street agent. Also, with the online option, you'll likely pay up front rather than a percentage of the sale price. And do check whether they'll conduct viewings and how much support you get once an offer has been made. If an agent's suggested asking price seems massively inflated, it might be a tactic to try and win your business. An asking price that's too high will generate less interest and mean your home stays on the market for longer. And the longer it stays on the market, the lower the price could be. So ensure your estate agent is being realistic. Decluttering is a top tip you'll have heard before, but it honestly makes a difference. You want to strike the balance between decluttered and depersonalized. Prospective buyers want to be able to see themselves living in your home without it feeling too empty or soulless. You want people to fall in love with a lifestyle as well as a property. Our next piece of advice is to look closely at your listing. Chances are the first place potential buyers will see your home is on a property portal. They'll decide in seconds if it piques their interest. So make sure your agent has included plenty of photos and they are high quality. Does the property look clean and tidy? Does the listing feature any key selling points? You must have an accurate and well-written description and an accurate floor plan. When it comes to in-person viewings, make the first impression count. Does your home have good curb appeal? Windows and roof in good condition, garden looking tidy, a cared for front door and entrance? Inside, think about the lighting to help maximize the space, perhaps with lamps in dark corners. Cleverly placed mirrors can also help a room to look more airy. Remove or disguise any carpet stains. Be rigorous about bad odors. If you can, take pets out with you and let the estate agent do their job conducting viewings. Having done all that, you can hope to have some decent offers. And when it comes to selling a house, a good solicitor is always key. They'll take on all the legal work, including vital processes like the deposit transfer. Find one early on to ensure you're prepared and ready to go. Bear in mind that house sales are only legally binding at the point of exchange, so choose a solicitor who is proactive and can help you get there. Move IQ can connect you with one. Just head to the tool section of our website for a quote, or there's a link down below. 
Finding the right buyer is the second half of this equation. And if you're lucky enough to have more than one offer, look for someone who's organized, interested, and ready to go. If possible, try to build a relationship with them. This could reduce your risk of being gazundered, although there are no guarantees. Once you've accepted an offer, keep the property chain moving by being on top of things. Make sure you have contact details of everyone involved, your solicitor is being proactive, you're as organized as possible, and that you're responsive and communicative. Following these simple but vital tips should help your home sell more quickly for the best price to the right person. So good luck. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any golden rules for selling that have worked for you in the past and join me again for more property know-how.